Greg Abbott continues to violate Chicago's rules for buses transporting immigrants into the city by leaving asylum seekers in the suburbs. Many municipalities are responding with their own measures to limit or block arrivals. Measures taken by surrounding municipalities include ordinances regulating or preventing bus stops, taxes aimed at preventing local hotels' motels from being used as shelters, and even symbolic, profane, declarations. The measures come as bus operators carrying migrants began dropping them off at train stations and other locations outside the city, and as Abbott began sending migrants to the region on charter planes. The Texas governor's new approach sending migrants from the border into the city comes in response. Mayor Brandon Johnson's initiative limit bus arrivals normal weekday business hours. The city and state have made a concerted effort make 800 s. Displains Street a designated landing zone for immigrants. With the goal of allowing immigrants to move seamlessly city shelters or beyond Chicago. As recently as Wednesday, the state announced that heated tents were being built in the area for dozens, sometimes hundreds, of migrants waiting to be placed in city shelters. A woman and two children who had just arrived Chicago are shown wrapped in blankets the city's designated landing zone for immigrants near 800 s. Displains Street Pat Nabong Sun Times file bus regulations Chicago enacted its bus ordinance in mid-November and began filing lawsuits against rogue buses as of November 29. According to a law department spokesman, as of Wednesday, the city had impounded nearly 100 buses and two had been impounded. Bus operators responded by bringing thousands of migrants train stations outside the city where they then boarded vehicles heading to the city center or even highway stops. DuPage County has seen nearly 3,000 migrants pass through that route since mid-December. The county west of Chicago said Wednesday. County officials said they aim provide a safe and seamless transition to downtown Chicago for these newcomers, although some local municipalities have sought halt the process altogether. Kankiki which witnessed a chaotic bus departure on deck. 22. Passed an ordinance similar to Chicago and other surrounding municipalities Tuesday evening. Mayor Chris Curtis said, What really worried us was that the bus driver dropped them off and said they were in Chicago. Curtis said, This has become a safety issue. Hinsdale, which along with Wheaton receives the most buses approved an ordinance to restrict bus arrivals at a special meeting Tuesday. In McHenry County, Woodstock approved a similar ordinance on Tuesday, and the city of McHenry approved one on Friday. New immigrants embrace after arriving in Chicago at the city's designated exit zone for immigrants. Near 800 s. Displains Street Pat Nabong Sun Times file hotel shelters since immigrants began arriving Chicago in 2022. The state of Illinois has occasionally provided shell.